The buffed AM-09 has taken over every aspect of Call of Duty, and this new build might just get nerfed, so I would definitely take advantage of it while you can. Ladies and gents, I used to hate the AM-09, but they've been buffing it in like every update, so where now it feels very good, it's a meta one in multiplayer and in Warzone. Rank play, not really meta, but in public matches, you are going to be absolutely popping off with this build. You still can use it in Warzone 2, you just got to switch out one thing. So we are going to be adding the compensated flash hider. Before, I was using the Jack VFB, but then I was like, you know, I really don't need that much recoil control. This thing is very easy to use, and this flash hider actually adds a lot of recoil control. If we look at those stats, 15% for the vertical and 5% for the horizontal. Yes, we are losing a little bit of our ball velocity and ADS speed, but you're really not going to notice that that much. And that's also going to shorten the radar ping, so we're not really on the radar as long. And we get that firing aim stability. That firing aim stability is going to basically make it so the gun isn't going to shake at all in the gunfight. Overall, making it super easy to use. Recently, my sleep has been horrible, and I think it's because of me just like, you know, streaming all day. Then I'll go to bed and I'll be watching YouTube. So there's a lot of blue light going into my eyes, messing up my REM sleep. So I did look up some blue light glasses, came across Gamer Advantage, which they do sponsor a lot of my buddies. I sent them an email asking maybe for a partnership or if I can get a pair for free. They sent me a free pair and oh my days, it is actually game changer. My sleep has gotten so much better. And so if you do want to improve your sleep and just reduce headaches from being on the screens all day, I would definitely go to the pin comment, click on that link, see if there's a pair of glasses that you like and use code CBS at checkout if you want 10% off. And they also do prescription. They are seriously game changer. So now we're really not going to be on the radar and it's just going to be overall easy to control, but it's still going to be a little bit tough to control. If you add the Jack BFB, you don't really need to run this under barrel, but if you add the Jack BFB, then your ADS is slower. So to compromise that, we are going to be adding the Bruin Heavy Support Group, which does lower the ADS speed, but we get so much recoil control, making this thing extremely easy to use. And the iron sights really aren't going to be swaying. I do have a sight on my build because these iron sights are absolutely horrendous, but also not that bad. Sometimes I don't mind them, but right there, you guys can see insane amounts of recoil control. And so now our gun really isn't going to sway, making it easier to hit that first shot. Therefore, you're going to have Amos as helping you overall. Bruin Heavy makes this thing really easy to use, and we kind of need a lot of recoil control because we are going to be adding the buffer too. This one's going to increase that sprint to fire speed, the ADS speed, the aim walking speed. So then we can basically move around the map a little bit quicker. We can snap onto people. This gun has a very slow sprint to fire speed. And so this is going to heavily bring that up, making this thing astronomically better. And we can strafe quicker, making it easy to activate that rotational aim assist. And you will be a harder target to hit. But as you guys can see, it is going to be absolutely murdering that recoil control, which is why we do got the Bruin Heavy and that muzzle just mitigate those cons. But yeah, as you guys can see right here, ADS speed still very, very good. Well, obviously, if we're adding that no stock and then the recoil control, still very easy to control. Like right there, no recoil. You can even use this thing up to medium range. It's just going to be a little bit tough at medium range. Keep in mind, this thing does have a little bit of vertical, really not that much like side to side bounce, just up and down. So it is going to take a little bit of time to get used to. If you're using it and you still suck with the build, I will give you a variation. But this is my favorite build for the AMR right now. You can absolutely pop off. So for the next attachment, we are going to be going over to the rear grip. And like I was saying, the sprint of fire speed on this gun really isn't that good. It's 160 milliseconds, which is really bad for the SMG. So we are going to be adding the Phantom, which is going to lower that to 122 milliseconds. This thing is insane. And it's going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker. So now this is why it's one of my favorite builds in the game, just because we can fire the gun after sprinting way quicker. We don't really have any recoil. We have a lot of damage range. We have a lot of ammo. Well, I guess that is one con of the class is that we are not adding a magazine. If I were to add a magazine, I wouldn't add an optic. I would just add the magazine, add like the 50 or the 100. If you're playing Warzone, you probably want to add the one, I mean, add the 50. And then, um, you know, the rest of the attachments really don't matter. This is like the base part of the build. So if you want, you can add a magazine. If you want to increase the damage range, one way that's pretty good. I almost did this. It's just, I just want to have a little bit more mobility, but this uh, Enforcer Long Barrel really does increase the damage range, making this thing feel like an AR. There is going to be a little bit of recoil. So you might want to take off, you know, um, that no stock and add an optic or something, but you know, I would still stick with the build that we're going over in the video. Uh, high grade rounds aren't bad. I'll kind of stay away from the ammo. Lasers. The only one I would add is the solar flare. This one's going to increase that sprint of fire speed by like 11 or 15%, making this thing a little bit better for rushing. And so this one is actually better than the class I'm about to give you because the overall stats are better. It's just used. You got to use those iron sights, which those iron sights are a little bit weird, which is why I am going to be adding the MK3 reflector. I absolutely love this optic. So this is the build I'm rocking in the gameplay. If you guys do want to use this thing in Warzone, I would just take off the rear grip or take off the optic and then add a 50 round mag. If you guys do want another very good build, like if you're using this thing and you just still can
cannot get the hang of it, then I would... Oh, here's a double barrel one. I don't really like the double barrel, but if you are going to use this thing in double barrel, there you guys go. And then if you do want to use this thing in war zone, oh, it looks like I deleted... The, oh, no, I think it's right here. Sorry for all the complicated things. This is one of the meta setups in war zone. That thing goes crazy. I like the other build, though. And then on uh, my secondary, DG56. I was using my shotgun video, so sorry for giving the same class, but this thing so fun to use. It makes the gameplay so enjoyable because I can just finesse at close range and I can finesse at long range. These are the perks I'm running. Now let's get into the crazy double MGB gameplays. Yo, in my last video, let's we completely... In my last video, we completely popped off on this Kill map them and so... All. Make them suffer. Make them suffer. This kid's on, and on his villain arc. Oh my god. Okay. Yo, I'm gonna make him suffer. Better go crazy. This setup insane i know i'm gonna run out of ammo or something oh he's commentating he's got those comms yo dude's probably a god in rank play the one thing i don't like about this setup is i don't have that much ammo but like the thing i love about this setup is that the sprint to fire speed is insane to where you win basically every gunfight even up to medium range the average consumer might have a little hard time controlling it, but right there it is super controllable i love this build you know, like a better player can get away with using a build with a little bit more recoil and they can take advantage of that mobile. Yo, son, you better shut the fuck up. Imagine my neighbors, they, they can't hear me, but imagine like my neighbors could hear me and then they hear me say, yo, son, shut the fuck up. Dang it, dad got me with a pistol. Bro, this kid's gonna freak out if I get an MGB. Absolutely not. Bro, I've had score streaks on for like months now. I need to switch it to kill streaks. Bro, this thing is so crazy. But I like not running the extended mag because the reload speed is so much faster. Yo, I got my whole team pushing up right now. Teammate, why are you f***ing kissing me? Obliterated. Well, sometimes they're moving and then they randomly just stop moving. I'm like, wait, I was waiting for you to push me. It was part of the plan. Why are you deceiving my plan? The fuck is going on? Push out! Play normal! Uh, uh, what the f That was sketchy. That was like my last shot. Okay, I need a UAV ASAP. I'm going to play a little bit slower just to ensure we get this nuke because it would be so funny to see this kid's reaction. Yo, whenever you don't want to die, just stick to the edges of the map. Look for little headies like this. Like, that's a crazy headie. You always can lay on stairs. Like, if you lay on stairs right here, the enemies, I can see them, but they can't see me right now. I guarantee you they cannot see me. Watch me get, like, sniped or something. Just beamed. I'm just going to show you guys how easy it gets. If the enemies start moving... Come on, this is called stair cheesing. This is a uh, band in the CDL. Like, if you do this, you get in trouble. And the farther you go down, the less of you they can see. But these enemies are weird. They don't move. Bro, what the f- This is why I gotta like not sleep. Shut the f- Get your inhaler and shut up. So my teammates really haven't gotten that many kills. So that means all the enemies are kind of pushed up right now. And then I just got three kills. So that means there's three guys, four guys spawning in now. And that's an MGP. Leave a like. And subscribe with the noties on. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's freaking go. And you go. You know what? I think it's time to put on some blue light glasses. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I need to reduce the blue light coming into this into my eyes. So then 
I can get some better sleep. You know, your REM sleep gets messed up. You might sleep for eight hours, but you actually only slept for like six because, you know, you had a lot of blue light from gaming for so long. But if you wear some blue light glasses... It's the nearest one that we need to go to. Son, shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Code Seabass. 15% off. No, 10% off. Sorry. Oh, bro, this DG is insane. I might use it in a lot more videos. Low key. Because this thing is so crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this guy to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, yo, it's 100 to 79. We still have so much time. I can easily get another nuke. If not, two nukes. Imagine if we get three nukes in here. But then the, the game is going to end somewhat soon, so that's not too helpful. Bro, this setup is crazy. I love it. I think this is my favorite AMR9 setup because it's super easy to use. Like, very easy to see the enemies. You got the mobility. You don't have that much ammo, but as long as you're, in the, you know, you're aware of that, you're fine. And the reload speed feels very quick. God, that was horrendous. Bro, right there was a spawn trap. Okay, I'm going to put them back into the spawn trap. I'm going to put them back in there. Right there is an insane spawn trap. Oh, my God. That is literally a great one. Oh, my God. Yo, okay, this is the spawn trap. Why did I slide? Damn it, that pisses me off. See, if I had a little bit extra ammo, I wouldn't have needed to reload, and then we're good. But then, you know, I don't have that mobility. Dang it. Okay, okay. We still have a long time. I'm going to put them into the spawn trap. I need to I need to show you guys how you can finesse this map. Like, this map is probably the easiest map to get nukes on. Parker, I just move around so much and I just don't see them. I don't even know why. Yo, okay, I gotta call in this nuke very soon, but they're all starting to push down to where I might be able to get the, the insane spawn trap right now. I gotta be very careful though. Bro, this combo is insane. The Seabass special is hidden, boys. This thing is meta. Oh, I got to call in the nuke. That was way too close. Oh my God, look at the score. There was someone over here. Insane class. You guys are going to love it. Yo, 73 kills. Oh, buddy thought he could do something. Apps. Oh, my God. Yo, they all spawned in here. No. Oh. Ah. This is the map where I find the most people in quarters. It's like a haunted house I'm playing on. Bro, this AM19 class. My mic was on. My mic was on. 
Oh my god. Nasty. Come on. Come on, enemies. Where are you guys at? Push me. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Whoop. Whoop. Bro, guys. Oh my god. I'm so happy in rank play. I finally got my SR debugged. In Diamond 2, I was getting fucking 21 SR in Diamond 2. Oh my god. That was a long grind. And then now, I finally debugged it. And now I'm getting like 60 SR in Crimson. I can finally climb up the iridescent without playing 200 games a day. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Okay. Nasty. Nasty. Why don't... Yeah, shit on what Tim said. Okay, no, shut up, Tim. Oh, I'm so sorry. Every video turned into like a DG video. It's just the DG is so funny. It's such a good AR. And ARs, we all know, are so strong. Our SMGs are very strong. But this map is very open. Bro. I'm going to be doing a lot more overkill classes. Because the DG is so enjoyable to use. That's a clip. What? The, what is this? Spawn inside me. Why? Well, not inside me, but in front of me. This is so rage inducing. Ah. Bro, sometimes I like to do these gameplays where I'm just, you know, just casually playing. Not speaking too much. Letting the gameplay talk for itself. Because I know I yap a lot in the gameplays. I just start talking about random things. So sometimes it's just nice to just relax. These enemies need to relax. Oh my god. Okay, advanced review. I need to know where these dudes are at. Or woman. See, like... I didn't even know that guy was just looking at me. That guy spawned right there. That guy literally spawned right there. That is crazy. Bro, we are on fire. Okay, I need to calm down with that AR. That AR is so enjoyable. It's hard to not run it. That's the MGB, boys. It's just too simple. We're just too nasty. Or is it the glasses? Well, if you want to get yourself a pair. T-Bass, code, code T-Bass, 10% off. I'll have the link in the description and top pin comment. Let's go, guys. Easy motherfucking nukes and nukes. We got the nuke. Let's get another one. Let's go for another nuke. But should we get that? No, I don't want to get the high ground because that means I'm pretty sure going to be rocking the DG the whole time. I got to play more aggressive. Yo, these spawns on this map are great. I must just called in the nuke thinking it was like an advanced UV. 
Oh, now you spawn in right when I move. Are they going to keep spawning here? I wouldn't be surprised. What are these spuns? Oh! Bro, this is funny. And then I just spawned right where I died. This, oh, I was going to say, this is one of my favorite videos I've ever recorded. But lately, I've been saying that with every video. Just lately, I've been enjoying this game a lot. I don't know why. I've been just recent, recently really enjoying it. I think it's maybe like the playlist, like the map pool. As long as I don't have to play in those really big maps and those weird ones like Underpass. Like, I'm a happy, happy, happy man. And like, this isn't even for the promo. I just figured out like my sleep. And, like, I've been sleeping so much better to where I would just have so much energy all day. Just, like, natural energy. Like, I'll drink a Valvidian stuff, you know, just because I'm blessed to always, you know, I'm just blessed I always have a, a case with me because I'm sponsored. But I just, I, I feel like I have so much energy and I just feel good lately. It's mostly just, I've been on, like, my phone a lot less and trying to, like, sleep earlier. I still go to sleep around, like, 1 a.m., but it's, like, those 3 a.m. nights aren't really happening. And I've been just, like... A little bit more discipline with other things. Once I start hitting the gym consistently every day, then I'll feel even better. Oh, I have been eating a lot more. Just forcing myself to just eat. God damn it. And so I think it's just like overall my health is going up and it just gives me more natural energy. And I'm just feeling so much better. Or it's just the DG6 AMR9 combo. he get me okay i feel like the hype you know is toned down a little bit in the gameplay i feel like it's a little bit repetitive i haven't really got the nuke i'm gonna call on this nuke i'm gonna go get a glass of water i'll be right back let's fucking go boys leave a like and subscribe i'm not even streaming but it feels like i'm streaming get nuked motherfuckers let's go vamos